Hey y'all, I'm Rev. This is my workshop. Um, finishing up the 46 RE project we've been working on. We got a little series just that uh, the one I'm trying to show you how to rebuild a transmission. Up to this point, I should have everything covered up, up to what I'm fixing to do now. I'm finishing on the, where I started last is direct clutch drum. I was waiting on the snap ring. It took a couple days to get. So, I have it, have it on my press. External snap ring pliers. Just bring them in there. Uh, I think these are, I don't know, names were off of them. Maybe Mac Code, Mac, Snap on some. It's a uh, Mac. Mac P21A. Take the snap ring up for the fit and then I kind of tap it down into the tube. Take a screwdriver, go all the way around it, make sure it's going to sit in the screw. There's a, there's a groove here, and you got these little, you got these little keepers, the snap ring needs to go behind there. There's three of them on there. That's all there is to that. Okay, now we're back over on the rebuild bench. We'll start with a steel. One steel, one clutch, one steel, one clutch, one steel, one clutch. Y'all might notice I don't soak my, I don't always soak my clutch. I soak ones in a I don't know, like a Ford AOD or something on a direct, anything that might just crank up, as soon as it starts up, it might, it might need to be lubricated. These, they're not doing anything. When I crank, when I crank this transmission up, the pump's just going to start lubricating. It's going to fill it up. It's going to be on the lift, no pressure on it. Uh, all soaking, this, all soaking is going to do is make a heck of a mess, and I just, I'm just not going to do it. So, uh, a lot of people would disagree with that, and that's okay. This is how I do it. Uh, got plenty of, I got plenty of empty there on my clutches, not, not too much. Now, just flying them down on the forward clutch. Okay, that's ready to install. Next, see if I can get this video going. All right, hopefully, I got y'all where you can see this is. Just filming something I gotta get used to. We're gonna put the band in. Boy, I like to put the band in first so I can go ahead and get everything anchored where it needs to be. used to working around tripods and stuff. So hopefully y'all bear with me. Okay. It's almost impossible for me to film, but there's a get the old bed. Trying to anchor these two points, that one and that one, on this band assembly. On this, uh, yeah, band anchor. Then I got to get it. Lord, I can't find a. I get this piece in there.
Okay. I want you to be able to see what I just did. 